Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have something cool and uh, that is the rig expert. And it's an antenna analyzer and this is the AA600. So antenna analyzer 600 goes up to 600 megahertz. And it's not mine and it's again from my uncle, George. And uh, we're just gonna play with it. And it's probably way too advanced for what I'm gonna use it for, but I will just wanna test it a little bit uh, with an antenna and um, see what it actually does. And if you can see here, I think it's called the Smith chart. Uh, that looks a lot like the, the Nano VNA that I uh, tested in one of my first videos. And there it's very clear that uh, I didn't understand all the graphs that are in this thing because it's way too powerful. But uh, I did some nice tests to see where the antenna really starts to uh, radiate and uh, the reflection go down. And uh, well, that, that is exactly what this thing should be specialist in and a rig expert. Well, the specialists know this is one of the best. So it's just cool that, uh, that they have a chance to, to play with this. and. Uh, let me show you. Okay, we have the box. And um, I checked already on the website. It seems to be still very current. And you can just download the software. You can do firmware updates. It is, uh, yeah, in that sense, it's really advanced. And it comes in a nice bag, carry case. And uh, look at this. This is really made for professional. It's strong. And uh, it comes with the, the batteries are rechargeable, but I don't think you can charge it inside, so you need to charge it separately. I tried to connect it to the USB, but it wasn't charging, so I think it should be done separately, but of course I didn't read anything about it. I'm just going to play with it. Okay, a little bit of book. We're going to go quickly through it. Um, well, I'm not a manual kind of guy, but AA600. This is the 600. Goes up to 600. End type connector. It looks like it's kind of intuitive. You can do SWR. It can even do SWR on multiple frequencies. That is kind of cool. You can even put your SWR in a graph if you want. Here we have the Smith charge. And what is this? Time do my reflect on. Well, I can be honest about that. I don't know what that is. Okay. Loads impedance. Here, yeah, this checking antennas. Here you can see where your antenna is tipping. So we're going to play with that. Cable length measurement you can even do. Cable fault, that is cool. You can see if you have a break in your line. That is cool. And I think I have seen somewhere you can even switch your impedance to 50 to 75. And I'm not sure that the normal VNAs can do that. So it is also nice to even have an RF generator built inside. Of course, that's how they you check your reflection, but you seem to be able to tap that out. So that is also cool. I'm just gonna play a bit uh, with the antenna, I think. Okay, I have my stool here and um, with a little magnet. With the look of it, it's probably two meters, so around 150 megahertz. Okay, I connected the antenna. Let's switch it on. And then I like to do set frequency to 
Let's put uh, this probably the center. So let's put 150. Uh, okay. Then we have a range. Three. The range can be 50 below and 50 above. So that is 100. And then we can scan. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was just a, a lucky guess. But as you can see, the antenna really drops around 150. So if I want to use it for a uh, ham, it is uh, a little bit too long. But uh, yeah, you can see where it uh, goes to drop. Yeah, maybe if we go back and I set the range a lot bigger, maybe there is another drop. So what if I put the center in, just like put 300 and then the range, what if we put 200 and we have 100 below, something like that. If we do another scan, no drops here. Ah, in the end, there is one in the end there. So, but if I just put a range 600. Yeah, we have the 150, 300. Ooh, it dips even better there in 400. Let's have a look where that is. Uh, back, center frequency. Um, two. Let's go to 400. Then we set, uh, let's just check again for, Okay, maybe it's not for two meters, but for 70 centimeters. But then it's like, uh, instead of half, it's maybe a three fourth. Okay. Okay, well, I really misjudged that one because it really looked like a two meters. But clearly here, our SWR is really, really low. It's around uh, 425. So it is indeed for uh, 70 centimeters and not two meters. So that is cool. But we can see very nicely with this uh, meter. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm having also yeah, my uh, VNA. And indeed, it says also around 423 it's here. Of course, more easy to see here. And the other dip here at 150, exactly the same as we had. And there is another one here, another dip. And it's at 675, but uh, it's too bad we cannot see this on, uh, on the Rick Expert. But uh, they say the same thing. Okay, now I'm replacing this one. The 70s for this should be a dual bonder. This came with my Camwood portable, so uh, let's see what this does. I'm uh, just quickly going to see where are my uh, dips in the oof, what a mess! Uh, display, Can I switch off some stuff. Okay, where we have a little dip here. Ooh, not that good. 150 indeed. Here we have again at 132. And the other dip is 
730. It almost looks the same like the other one. I'm surprised that it is this bad in the 150. Yeah, let's see what the rig says. Okay, I connected it again. And uh, let's put the center then to 430 as we saw on the other one. So the uh, two. Okay. Uh, more scan. As you can see again, it is dipping very nicely. You can see that the scan is a little bit slower than the Nano V&I. And, I. and uh, but but if you are uh, really in a uh, in a practical environment, I'm pretty sure that the rig expert will survive a lot better the abuse than the Nano V&A. Yeah. Let's see, so this is one drop and the SWR is really, really good here. Yeah. So then let's go back to the... It controls actually very nice too. So 50, okay. Maybe the okay in the cancel button would make more sense the other way around but the rest it's all kind of speaks for itself i like that yeah more or less the same the swr is not that good on these duo bounders it is uh, mostly on 70 centimeters the 430 megahertz that it is a lot better and on two meters it is not necessarily that good but it works, it's a dual bond. Okay, that was really, really quick. And some people may be thinking, my God, why you have this stuff? You don't even know what to do with it. And uh, I will probably just be using it to cut the antenna to the correct size. And, and that is really about it. Um, so the Nano V&I, &E, &E, although it can do, a, I think, a lot more. But of course, you can see in the real environment this will break too easy and then you really has to have this professional thing and also this one can uh, be switched in to dance and uh, it is cool I, I like to see it and actually because uh, i don't know maybe it's how the menu is constructed this one was a lot easier to understand than this one and of course about both i didn't read anything so uh, uh, but it feels solid, it feels good, it's easy to see where the antenna is dipping, and uh, yeah, cool, I like uh, that I was able to play with this. So that's it, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.